In this video, I'm going to be going over a few different ways that you can increase the humidity levels in your chameleon's enclosure. So I can tell Neptune wants to come out, so I'm just going to grab him really quick. Um, so just give me one second. Because otherwise he's going to be pawing to come out this whole video, so. so uh, come on, baby. Okay, we'll see how long he lasts on my hand. We just have to put him on the tree. But the, the first thing when we're talking about humidity levels is making sure you have a way to measure the humidity levels. So I'm gonna recommend that you use what's called a hygrometer. I use a digital hygrometer. I find that it's more accurate than the ones that just have the little, um, you know, little dial, um, you know, like the dual temperature hygrometer combo. I find a digital one's just more accurate. Not only are live plants safer for your chameleon, they look cooler, but they also increase the humidity because of the soil in the plant and just plants in general produce you know, natural humidity. So I have a whole video on how to make plants safe for your chameleon and what plants you should use. So I'm gonna link that up above here and feel free to check it out if you're interested. You can wrap your enclosure in clear shower curtains. Um, you can just pick them up from the dollar store or somewhere like Target, and that'll help hold in the humidity levels if shower curtains aren't your thing. You can also use window shrink film to wrap the sides. And I'm gonna start just by adding the plastic or shrink film just to one side of the enclosure and see how that's affecting your humidity levels. If it's still not getting you the levels that you need, then feel free to add a second side. And worst comes to worst, wrap all three sides in the plastic shower curtain or shrink film. Just make sure you're leaving the front of the enclosure and the top of the enclosure screen to allow for ventilation and airflow. Say you're only misting twice a day for 30 seconds, try misting three times a day for two minutes and mess around with it, um, see what works for you. I miss twice a day for three to four minutes, but you know that's for my environment, for my species of chameleon, so what works for me may not work for you. You can also add a humidifier to your room. This is great for drier climates like Colorado or the UK, and just add it to whatever room your chameleon is in, especially if they're kept in a separate room from the rest of your household, and that'll increase the overall humidity just in that room. While screen enclosures are highly recommended for chameleons and are a great option, they just don't do a great job of holding in humidity. So you may want to consider a hybrid enclosure made by Dragon Strand, which is half screen, half not screen. I think it's PVC is what he uses for the sides. You're okay. You want a hand? Yeah, so it's, it's half screen, half not screen, which could be a great option. But if that's still not going to give you the humidity levels that you need, you can consider a glass enclosure. I know glass enclosures are kind of taboo in the chameleon community, but if you set them upright, they can be successful as long as you have proper ventilation and airflow. And the final recommendation I would make is to have your enclosure be bioactive, which is when the bottom is full of soil and microorganisms like isopods and springtails. And that's just going to increase the overall humidity because of the soil that's in the enclosure. Um, it's not something I've considered doing just because I already have pretty high humidity levels like ambient levels as is. I will link a thread from the chameleon forms down below where people have been discussing um, how to properly set up a bioactive enclosure and their experiences with it. So that may be something that you're interested in. You good? Anyways, I hope these tips and tricks help you um, increase your humidity or maintain the levels that your chameleon requires. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe so you know when I post a new video. You can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill, chill.
<laughs> Here, I know you just want your treat. There you go, dude.